Alrighty, hey guys, so my life is a little bit of a mess over here, but it's fine. Today I thought I would do um, a little bit of a budgeting video. I filmed myself starting this whole process, um, but my friend was here and she was asleep, so I never actually walked through or talked through what I was doing or explained it. So, now I'm going to do that. Basically, I did this once last year, and it really worked out for me. So I decided to do it again. So basically, I follow um, the YouTuber. Let me see if I can find her name. I know her name's Alyssa, but like, other than that, for some reason, my mind is drawing a blank. <sighs> I guess it's a good thing I had my YouTube pulled up already. Has she not uploaded in a while? Unless I'm just missing her videos. That's always an option. Um, why can't I find you? I literally can't find her now. I don't understand. Oh. Um, Alyssa Herbert. She does a whole bunch of like cash envelope stuffing videos. So I follow the way that she budgets. But for me, like, I need to see things out on paper and see them and know that they're happening. So I wrote it all out. Basically, I wrote down every month. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I wrote down all of the months. And for the job that I have now, because even if I get a new job, I'll still probably work there one day a week because I do like the perks of it. I am going to... Sorry if you hear my dog barking. They're plowing because in Michigan we got like freaking a foot of snow and it's negative 40 degrees and yeah, life's a mess. So basically, I took each month, I wrote down when I got paid and when my bills are due. So then from there, I take my bills and I split them into two checks. Even though it's just like, the only one that I don't split up is Hulu. Hulu is only a dollar for me right now because I'm a student. So that's the only one I don't split up. But even like... Um, Spotify. It's only $10. I know I could get it cheaper if I were a student and I did the student thing, but I'm fine with what I have now. I just split it into two. That way I don't have to worry about taking the whole thing out of one. So I've already kind of screwed up um, this whole section right here just because I didn't get paid that much and I needed money for stuff, so it didn't work out. I didn't even take money out of my account like I should have, but it's okay. We'll get back on track. So if you go with February... Um, I get paid on the 7th. On the 12th, my Spotify comes out. So I would take five from that check and five from the check that was on the 24th of January. Same for Planet Fitness. Um, I put Valentine's Day in there because my boyfriend is currently deployed and I'm going to send him a care package. It's more than likely not going to get to him by Valentine's Day, but I still need to get it sent out before them. And I knew like I needed to take the money for that out of the check that I just recently got a couple of days ago. Excuse me, out of the check that I just got a couple days ago. And then for like my mom and my dad for Valentine's Day, I need to take the money out of that check. And then I get paid again on the 21st, which is after a lot of stuff happens. Like my mom's birthday is in there and I'm not going to have money till after her birthday. But she doesn't really mind. I already talked to her about it. Um, so I get paid again. And then Hulu comes out. So Hulu I'm going to take out of the second paycheck. And then as we go on through the month, the same thing happens. So each of these little weird looking things. The color has two dots next to what it is. So this color teal, two dots means it's Spotify, February Spotify, $5. February Planet Fitness, $10. Mom and Dad Valentine's Day, February Discover Card, $25. Um, Mom's birthday. Our three year anniversary doesn't pop up until Here in June. I should have known that, but I was looking to my birthday for something. So each check I'm taking some money out because I want to get him something really nice. He'll probably be deployed when our three years happens, so I want to get him something nice. And then I forgot what C D stands for. Oh, C D stands for Christmas Day. So I didn't get anybody anything for Christmas because I was broke, but I really want to be able to get people stuff. So even if it's just like a couple dollars. That's what I want to do. And then, so like this one, February Hulu, 
um, March Spotify $5, March Discover Card $25, March Planet Fitness $10, our three years, and Christmas Day. And that's just how it goes. So I have three pages of all of that. Um, I might have to redo it because if I do get another job, I will still have the paydays that come from here, but it probably won't be my main source of income, which means I'll have to like switch it up and redo this whole thing. But for now, I haven't yawned all day and suddenly when I start filming, I start yawning up a storm. But for now, that's, that's those plants. So, let me see. Do. Alright, I need the numbers. Oh, so then this is my like journal thing. I haven't finished it yet and I need to. I'm like OCD about the order of things, so like I made an order for my pens and my markers to go in color wise. Um, I need to hot glue this back together, but that's besides the point. So this um, and all of these right here that aren't done yet are my yearly plan. So the goal is to write down my paydays and when my bills are due so I can just look at it. But then I also want to write in whenever I spend money somewhere else to see like, did I need to spend it? Did I want to spend it? Did I have the money to actually spend it? Stuff like that. So I have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I still have to do September, October, and November. And then here, I really need to get this filled out so I can start to budget my gas money. But... Since my boyfriend is gone, um, I can pretty much determine when I'm going to spend money on gas by, like, what I'm going to drive. So, like, it'll be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then we jump into each time I get paid, I do a page. So I, like, write down what I worked, the hours, multiply by my wage, the taxes, what it should be, and what I actually get and then um, my cash envelopes. So I do have two jobs right now. I work at a movie theater and at a dance studio. And the dance studio is not consistent with payment. So I don't, like with these, I can honestly basically just go in as soon as I finish working the next week that'll be on the check. And I can just figure out what I'm probably gonna get paid. With the studio, I don't even bother. Whenever I get a check, I'll throw it in. But that's basically what it is. So like right now, I, it's the 29th of January. I got paid on the 25th, which was this check. I don't get paid again until the 7th, but the way that our checks work is they're like backwards a week. So when I get paid on the 7th, it won't be for the week from the 1st to the 7th. It'll be for the week that I worked from the 18th to the 24th and from the 25th to the 31st. So like that week that I get paid, my check doesn't include that week. So I just finished working the week that we'll have, uh, that will go into my next check, so I can just figure it out right now and see about what I should get. So the last two colors I used were those. I need 11 and 8. I have this huge thing that has all of my markers and stuff in it. And honestly, half the time I can never find anything, but that's besides the point. There we go. Alright, so it's 11 first and then 8. I also need my Sharpie. Sharpie and a pencil. Um, I have like 30 of them. There we go. You can tell that they haven't plowed outside. You can hear all the cars. Uh, Alright, so this is going to be February. February 7th, 2019. So, let me grab my planner because this has all the hours that I worked. I'm going to do another video either like right after this one or whenever about my planner. So, it won't be for that week. Let's see if I wrote everything in how I'm supposed to. So, it won't be for that week, but it'll be for. week and this week. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. So. so it's 11 
first and one eight, right? Yeah, eleven and one eight. So the way you do this. So Friday. January eighteenth. Sunday, January 27th, and Monday, January 28th. So those are all the days that I worked. Now with pencil I go through and write the hours. So I'll go 5.45 to 11.30 p.m. 3.30 to... Nope, that's not the one that I left early. To 9 p.m. 5.45 to 11.30. And then Monday, It was 3.30, but I X'd out early because there was so much snow, I barely even made it home and we were still open for some reason, so, but that's besides the point. So, hours, so that would have been separate five, so that was probably about six hours plus 4.75, I think, plus 3, plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, and a half, plus 8, plus 5, 25-ish. So that is... Yeah, that's 4.75. So what is 
Since I feel like I'm going to have to be on duty today, 3.30 would have been bad. So it was 20 minutes short, so 40. Divided by 60 is equal to 66. So, if it was just that, it would have been. We're just going to go with that. If it's off, it's off. It's fine. Um, wait. I didn't feel like it worked that much, but I mean, it did. 4, 29, 9, 0, 6, 5, 10, Seven point four two six five. And then so gross estimate is about three hundred and forty seven point five four. So that would be a good chunk of money if I make that lunch. I don't know if I'm going to, but that would be nice if I did. So this is basically my budget system. I need to finish it up. I really need to get the like gas mileage stuff down because that'll really help me with my budgeting. But yeah, and then this is my yearly plan for now. It'll change, I'm sure, because I'm gonna end up with different jobs, but. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you have not. Um, I do budgeting videos, planner videos, Navy girlfriend videos. That's all I got. I do some clean with me. I need to figure out how to speed my videos up because those half hour long videos of me just walking around and cleaning are boring and I know it, but I don't know how to speed them up. So yeah, um, that's all I got. I will see you guys in the next video that I make.